Well, hello and welcome, welcome, welcome to Buttero Boutique. I am Dorita and today I will be showing you how to make this 3D flower. And I have the strings still attached on all three of them. I've made three. The strings are still attached on the back because I'm going to use those strings to sew this flower onto a bucket hat. Okay? So these are 3D flowers that I'm making individually. And um, I'm going to make five all together. And then I will be sewing these to a purple amethyst color bucket hat. The yarn that I used for this, the amethyst that's in the center, is Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo, and it is in the color of amethyst. And then the lavender that I use is also Red Heart Super Saver, but I don't have the ball bearing, so I lost the little tag to go on it. So I don't know ex the exact color of this one, but I'm pretty sure it's Red Heart Super Saver as well. And so... The hat is also amethyst. And here is the hat, which is purple. And so these beautiful flowers will go attached to the hat like this. And I thought about just putting them around the hat as if it's a bucket hat and then placing one on the top. And I want to sew these on uh, now at this point before I put the lining in. After I sew these on, then I'll put the lining in and that'll be the end of this, uh, making this hat right here. Okay, so um, when the lady asked for this, she asked for a bucket hat with flowers. She didn't say a granny square bucket hat. And when I showed her the flowers, she really loved these. So I am going to go back and make another hat because I'm interested in seeing how making a 3D granny square flower and then making the hat instead of doing all this separately. So anyway, now I'm using a furls. It is a size E, which is a 3.5. And um, this is a streamlined metal. And I have been trying my best to get my hands on one of these. And this is the best furls hook I have ever used. And if I ever buy or am able to get another furls hook, it will definitely be the streamline. Um, and I hope they always make this one because the others break too easily. And I really do like this one. It's a metal hook. So thank you, furls. And um, I bought it the last time they had them on sale. I was able to get it. Okay. And uh, I always, if I'm shopping at Furrows, I make sure I have a coupon or some credit or something because <laughs> their hooks are expensive. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with, um, we're going to go ahead and start making these beautiful flowers. Okay, I'm just going to push them out of the way over. I kind of want you to kind of see it, but see what we got remember what we're gonna end up with looking like this okay so let me push that over there and we're gonna start with the center purple oh and before I get started I do want to let you know that nope I did not think of this flower on my own I um, looked at a tutorial by Carmen and that is the name of her YouTube channel, Carmen. I will put it in the description box. And uh, she made this flower. So if you got any additional questions about this flower, please go over there, see Carmen, and ask her. <laughs> I'll do the very best I can to answer any questions. But if you're not satisfied, then go see Carmen. She is a doll, and she knows how to do all this stuff, teach. But anyway, this is something that I learned from her and I want to share it with you. How about that? <laughs> okay, so we start with our um, 
magic ring. And the way that I do my magic ring is I put the end of my yarn in, my, in the palm of my hand and then I wrap it around two fingers. And when I do that second wrap, I make sure that it's crisscrossed. I make sure it's crisscrossed in the back. And then I take my hook and go under that first loop. Can you see that? And I grab that second loop and I twist my hook. Okay? When I twist my hook, my um, magic ring is complete. But I have to pinch it here in order for it to keep for me to let it go and take it off my fingers, I have to pinch mine right here. Otherwise, if I just take my fingers out, I'll lose the whole circle. So once I put it on there and I twist my hook like this, then I grab it right there. See, see how that is? I take, I grab the whole thing and close it up like that. <laughs> I just stuck that in your face. I hope you can see it. <laughs> Okay, then I take my fingers out. At this time, I just grab my regular yarn the way I hold it, however you hold yours, and I pull my circle a little close. And at this time, I'm going to start chaining. I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And now that circle is pretty much secure. I don't have to just pinch it or hold it anymore. But there it is. Okay. So I have my circle. My magic circle. Took me a minute to get that, but I got it. <clears throat> like I said, I like to pull my uh I like to pull my ring a little closer because I'm kind of loose with my crocheting. Okay, now those three uh chains that I just did, one, two, three. I hope you can see this well. Let me see if I can do something. Be something dynamic or epic here. One. That's one chain. That's two. And that's three. <laughs> epic. Those three chains count as a half double crochet and a chain one. Okay. So now I'm going to uh, go ahead and put seven more half double crochet chain one into this circle okay i want seven more so i'll have a total of eight half double crochet chain one so here we go half double crochet and chain one okay we're still inside the circle half double crochet And chain one okay let's do it again half double crochet and chain one half double crochet and chain one let's see we got one two three four five and we need eight okay let's go again half double crochet And chain one half double crochet and chain one okay so now we need to make sure that we have eight half double crochet and chain one because that's what we're going to be working with so let me pull that up a little bit so i don't lose my place and we're going to go back and count these Okay, that's one. Let's count the let's count the the chains like this. Okay. See, that's not one right there. That's just where I got my hook at. You don't count the one where your hook is. Okay, and we go back and count one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. That didn't go right. I gotta count these stitches. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm counting seven. Let's go back and do it again. Cause I got I gotta make sure that I have eight in this circle. That's one. We're counting the legs. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. That's seven, so we need one more. Stick that back in there. Okay, see this is, um, <laughs> and let me see, did I do a chain one? Yep, and then I'll do number eight into the circle. That's a half double crochet and a chain one. Okay. All right. Now, we are going to, we got our chain one, so we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into, not the chain one space, but we're going to go into that second chain. That's one and that's two. We're going to go into that second chain because the next one counts as a chain one okay so there you have it there you have it now to i'm gonna fasten off by chaining one and cutting my yarn okay chaining one and cutting my yarn okay now let me make sure i didn't mess this up now I'm going to go back and count again, okay? And I'm going to count each leg, starting with the one right here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're back at that one, okay? So there are eight crochet stitches, half double crochets, and there are eight chain one spaces in this circle. Okay. Now we're, uh, we're going to change colors at this point. You see, that was just the inside, which is the color of the hat. And now for the next two rounds, we're going to use this lilac color. And if you can see on this uh, circle, this first round are pop, um, we've done popcorn stitches. And then on this last round, we've done clusters. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into that. Let's change color. Let's go ahead and add our lavender color. And the way I'm going to add my color is pretty simple. I'm not a... I'm not going to say what I'm not, but this is the way that I add my color to this round. I put my hook into the chain one space. Okay. I lay my yarn across the hook and I pull it through the chain one space. Okay. And then... It's just laying in there like that. Now I'm ready to chain three. So I'm going to chain one, two, three. Now, if you're a person who don't like ends, you can go ahead and tie your ends. You know, tack them in, close them in. And make sure you pull that circle so it won't have a hole in it when you get ready to, to uh, tuck your ends in. But I leave mine out because I'm going to use these strings to, ta to uh, attach it to my hat. Okay. So I've chained three. Okay. Now we're getting ready to make the popcorn stitch inside of the chain spaces. Inside of each one of these chain one spaces, we're going to put a popcorn stitch. And the popcorn stitch consists of 
five double crochets. So you're gonna make five complete double crochets and this chain three counts as a double crochet in this round, okay? So there's one, we need five in each space. Two, three, four, I'm in the chain one space, putting all five of them in that space. Five. Okay. So that's five double crochets, including the chain three counts as a double crochet. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Once you get your five, I want you to pull up on the yarn just to take your hook out. And you're going to go back to the very first double crochet right here. And you're going to stick your hook in it, in it. And you're going to grab that loop that you just left up. And you're going to pull that loop through slip stitch through that first stitch. I hope I explained that correctly. But let's do it again, okay? All the time as well, I was kind of pushing my finger to make sure that popcorn pops out this way. Okay, so let's chain three. One, two, three. We're looking for the very next uh, chain one space. And if you notice, or if you didn't notice, but the tail that was left when I added my yarn, I'm going to pull it over to the next chain one space with me. Okay. And I'm going to put, <laughs> I'm going to crochet five double crochets right here in the chain one space. Let's go. One, two, three. Two more, four, okay. and five. Okay, we have our five in there. Now you pull this up to take your hook out. Go back to the very first double crochet. Not into this chain space. Go into the first. This chain three here doesn't count as part of this five. Okay? That's just to get you over to this place and leave a space here. So you will start at this very first double crochet. And you'll go back and grab that loop from the fifth one. And you'll slip stitch it through. Okay? Pull it tight. Pull it tight. And chain three. One, two, three. Now let's move over to the next chain space. And we're going to do five double crochet here. One, five complete double crochet to make this popcorn stitch. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. Okay, pull your hook up, pull your loop up, and then you go back to the one, two, three, four, fifth. You go back to that, really it's the very first double crochet. Grab that loop <laughs> and slip stitch it through. Pull it tight and chain three. One, two, three. Move to the next space. What are we going to do here? We're going to do five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. 
Here we are again. Let's pull up on the loop. Go back to the first one. Slip, grab the loop and slip stitch it through. Tighten it down and chain three. Okay. Let's find the next space, which is right there. And let's uh, put five double crochets in there. One. Two. Three. Four. Putting it all in the same chain space. Make sure you put five double crochets, full double crochets, in each chain space. Pull up on the last one. Go back to the first one. Not the chain. You go back to the first double crochet. And you grab the um, loop with the hook and pull it through. That's a slip stitch. Tighten it down and chain three. One, two, three. We'll continue with this all the way around until we have eight popcorn stitches and eight chain spaces. Eight chain three spaces, mind you. That's one, two, three, four, five okay that's one two three four five okay let's go back to the very first double crochet grab the loop slip stitch it through tighten it chain three okay in order to remember these steps i had to actually write it down and that's just the way i learned Next space, five double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, pull up, go back to the first uh, double crochet. Slip stitch the loop through, tighten up, one, two, three. Okay, let's stop for a second and let's see what we got. How many we got? We got one, two, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need one more. So we already did our chain three. So we're gonna look for the next chain three space, which is right here. And we're gonna put five double crochets in that space. One, two, three, four, wait a minute, I think I snagged that one. Let me go back. If you snag or split your yarn, go back and fix it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then pull up on it. Go back to the very first double crochet. Not the chain spaces, yeah. not that. Go back to the first crochet, double crochet. Grab the loop with the hook and slip stitch it through there. Just slide it right through, tighten it down, chain three. One, two, three. Okay, now we should have all eight of our popcorn stitches. Something look like it's wrong with this one right here. I'm going to do this whole stitch over because evidently I split it and didn't know it, but I see it now. So I'm gonna go back and get it because, hey, we don't need no heat, no smoke. <laughs> I 
Okay, so that's one. I'm just fixing my stitch to make it look neater. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay. So that's five. Pull up a loop. Go back to the first double crochet. Slip stitch that loop through. Tighten it and chain three. One, two, three. Okay, now that looks much better. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's what we want. Okay. Now we're going to keep the same color because we're going to do the last um, round. We're going to do it also in the same color. Okay. To keep, to have a flower that looks like this. You can change whatever, if you want to change colors back to purple, if you want to change to white or yellow or whatever you want to do, you this is the time to do it. You've done your chain three. And what we're going to do is slip stitch into the top of this popcorn. We're not going to worry about trying to get in. We're just going to go right down in the top of that popcorn and, and slip stitch right there. Okay. That is the end of that round. That's the end of that round. Okay, now, if you want to change colors, if I were going to change colors here, I would fasten off uh, and cut my yarn and bring in my new color. But I'm not going to change color right here. I'm going to keep this color, and we're going to go on to the next round. Next round is going to be um, clusters. These are popcorns, and now we're getting ready to make clusters. Okay, so we made five full double crochets and joined them for the cluster. For the, um, I mean, for the popcorn. For the cluster, we will go halfway. We will pull through two, four times. It's like bringing four double crochets together to make one stitch. We did that here, but it's going to be a little different. Let me show you. So we're going to first chain three. One, two, three. Okay, because we're doing double crochets. Okay. And what we're going to do is when we chain three, we are going to do a... We're going to double crochet four together into this stitch okay this is my chain three and now we're gonna double crochet four together and when we do that we're gonna yarn over pull up a loop we're gonna yarn over and pull through two that's one yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two that's two Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. That's three. One more. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. Okay? So now we are left with one, two, three, four, five loops on the hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all five. There you have it. Okay. Tighten up. Chain three. One, two, three. Now we're going to move on to the next popcorn to make our cluster. What we're going to do is slip stitch in this popcorn. Go straight down in the middle of that popcorn and slip stitch. So it's going to seem like we're basically chaining three twice okay so we're going to chain three again one two three which brings us to our space we're going to do four double crochets together to make a cluster i have to speak slowly so i won't get all tangled up okay one yarn over pull up a loop Yarn over, pull through two. That's two. 
Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. That's three. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. That's four. And so now I have one, two, three, four, five. When you get five loops left, if you lose your count, but you got five loops on that hook, you know that's when you pull through all five, okay? And then we're going to chain one, two, three. Slip stitch into the next popcorn, right? Turn it up like that and look at the top down in there. Stick it straight through the middle and pull up a loop and slip stitch it. Tighten down, chain three, two, three. Okay, we're making clusters. <laughs> okay, so let's go on to the next uh, chain space and we're gonna do four double crochets together. One, two, three, four. Okay, and we're left with one, two, three, four, five on the hook. Yarn over, pull through all five. Chain three. The next thing you're looking at is a popcorn. So we're going to go ahead and slip stitch to that popcorn down in the top of it. Slip stitch. Chain three. One, two, three. Okay. Now we're at another space, and what are we going to do? Double crochet four together. One, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four, five loops on the hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through five, chain three, one, two, three. The next thing is a popcorn. So we're going to go down to the top, straight down through the popcorn kernel, and we're going to slip stitch. <laughs> Where I get that from? And chain three, one, two, three. You do whatever you do to try to help you remember what you need to do next. <laughs> So the next thing I see is a space. I just slipped into the popcorn chain three and I see a space. What do I do? Four double crochets. We're gonna do a cluster. Four double crochets together. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yarn over, pull through five, chain three. One, two, three. See how those clusters are looking different from the popcorn? Those are petal, more petally looking. Petally looking. <laughs> I do make up words. You didn't know. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go down through the top of this popcorn stitch. <laughs> yes, I make up words. And... <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Our language changes from day to day, you know. So, hey, go with the flow. What do we do here? We do four double crochets together. Together. One, two. Be careful not to split your yarn. Three. Four. Yarn over and pull through five and chain three. Okay. I'm at another popcorn stitch, so I'm going to the top of the popcorn and slip stitch. That's just, just nice and neat the way that she has this. I love it. I love this. Then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Go over to our space, four double crochets together to make a cluster. Two, three, 
four. Yarn over, pull through five. One, two, three chains. And we are back at another popcorn. We're going down through the top of that popcorn and we're going to slip stitch it. Tighten down and chain three. Okay, so here we are. We've gone all the way around. All the way around and we're back at, we're back at over here where this chain three is when we first started. And so how many do we have? We have to have eight petals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we know we need one more petal. And we're gonna put it in this chain three space, okay? Let's do it. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. Okay. And yarn over, pull through all five loops, and chain three. One, two, three. Okay. So, we have all eight petals, we have eight popcorn, we have eight little extensions to start off with, and now we're just going to slip stitch to the very first popcorn stitch. We're not going to look for the chain to slip stitch in, we're going to go on down in this one, just like we've been doing, and we're going to slip it closed, just like that, pull it tight. Isn't that beautiful? Pull it tight and we're gonna cut the yarn because we're through with that flower. Okay. See? Looks just like the others. I have this three and four. So I'm going to put one on each side of the hat, and then I need one more to go right there in the top. So I'm going to make this last one off camera, and I just want to thank you for coming along with me today and um, watching me, just being with me while I made this flower. Um and uh, I'll put Carmen's link in my description bar so that you can go and find her original video. Thank you so much for watching. And let's study so we can stay, so we'll know how to stay in the will of God. Thank you so much. Have a good day.